Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I am going to be kitting up my Lenore for the JBG along in July that I'm going to be doing. I'm actually filming this still in June but by the time you see it the event will have started. So if you have a canvas by Jasmine Beckett Griffith grab it and diamond paint along with us. Um, I will put a link in the description below to the uh, channels who are kind of leading this event and that is Crafting with Shay and Lindsay over at Emeralds and Fairy Lights. So um, yeah, I'm just going to dive in. This is going to be a weird kidding up for me. I have so many, well, I have three projects on the go. I have my Diana canvas, I have my Kandinsky that I'm doing for the summer with the masters, and now I'm kidding up this one. And I have purchased more storage, but even though this is only 35 colors, there are bags and bags and bags of colors because it is such a large canvas. It is 70 by 87. And so really when I do a diamond art club kit, I want to use my Elizabeth Ward storage. However, my Kandinsky is currently in my most of my Elizabeth Ward storage. So I have gathered what spare containers I have because I bought extras of all the different sizes and I'm going to kit up what I can in this. I don't have a tray so I'm just going to kind of keep them in a box or something until my tray is free. I'm hopefully going to complete the Kandinsky this week and then I can use the tray to put this in but I want to get it kitted up so I'm ready to go when the event starts on the first. So I have all of the extras of these. I have my stickers, I have my extra Harbor Freight containers because I don't have enough of these to fit everything in, I don't think, so I'm gonna do the best I can. And yeah, let's just jump in. This is my sticker for my um, diamond painting logbook, so when I get to that, um, I will do that. But uh, for now, yeah, I'm just going to get started. And of course, I'm going to start with 310 because there are eight bags of it. So I'm going to put them in this big container. And I'm fairly certain that I'm going to have to use at least two of these big ones, if not more. We'll see how that goes. Last time I had this many uh, black drills. I was doing my Good Witch by Hannah Lynn, and I'll stick a link up in the top there if you want to check out that one. Um, so it's been a while since I've kitted up something with this many drills, which is actually kind of exciting. So if I remember right, I could get two or three of these full bags in these big, big containers. Maybe only two. I don't remember. Move that out of the way. Okay, maybe three, which would be good. There's one trying to escape. Can I get all of these in there? Oh, nope. Some of them are going to fall out. Okay, let me just dump a few of those out because I do have to be able to close the container. So yeah, that's why I was pretty sure I wasn't going to have enough of these containers because I'm going to have at least two of these, maybe three full with just the black. So let me, these blacks look to be in better shape than my last one though. The Hanolin drills, three tins were not great. I don't know why three tins is such an issue. It seems like three tins, if you're going to have problems, three tins are the drills that it's going to be. If that has something to do with the color, something to do with the fact that there's black in almost every canvas, so there are so many of them that they just don't get the same kind of scrutiny going through quality assurance as maybe some of the others. Not sure. Oh, a couple of them escaped. And I could just leave some of these in the bags and open them 
as I want to, but I like having everything open so that I know I can just pour and go. So yeah, I'm probably just going to fill up three of these, even though I have other colors. Let me think about that. Do I want to do that? Hmm. I'm going to change my mind and set these aside because I might be able to put those in a Harbor Freight container. I've got a couple of other colors that I have a lot of, so I'm probably going to do the same thing with this one, like these 939s. I have um, four bags of 939. So I may just put, and I've got another color that I've got four bags of as well. So I may just put a couple, two and a half bags in this one, and then save the rest for my Harbor Freight containers. Because so many drills. I'm actually really excited to do this though. I hadn't planned on doing this one, but then when I saw the event listed, I was like, oh, I already have this canvas and I wasn't sure when I was going to fit it in. Okay, so I got three bags in there because they might must not have been as full as the 310. So I'm going to set those aside and put the extras in my Harbor Freight. And this is my last big one which is 823 so um whoops didn't get a hold of the sticker there i'm hoping these stickers come off my container as well i wonder if i'll get all three of oh no there's four maybe i'll get four in here we'll see anyway when i saw this event i was really excited because like i said i hadn't Hadn't planned on doing this event, didn't know it was coming up, just saw it and thought, oh, I'm going to jump on that because it gives me an excuse to start this one. Um, I, I won't lie, my last couple of square canvases have left a lot to be desired. Um, my MUCA, which is one that I did for the Summer with the Masters event, loved the image, the kit, not so much. I had a lot of issues with gapping and the drills not being the right size and hence the gapping issues and the colors being off and just kind of a lot of issues. Okay, so I'm gonna set those off to the side. And let's see, I've got a couple, three colors that I've got three of, so I'm gonna put those in the next size down. Obviously, they're not all going to fit because I didn't even get usually three whole containers in the other ones, but put in as many as I can, which means I'm probably going to need to make some extra stickers because I won't remember what colors these are. And I already forgot to put this sticker on this one. So this is 820. Let's see how many of these I can get in there. Actually, I'm not going to open that because I don't think I'm going to get all of those in there. And I've got three of this color, which is 745. Um, and then my other canvas besides the Mooka one was the Kandinsky that I'm working on now for my other canvas for the Summer with the Masters event. And it's going better. Um, I'm still having some issues with gapping. Um, the colors seem to be going nicely. So when, when it's finished, it will look good unlike the Mooka, which drove me insane. But, um, got three bags of this one, nine, three, eight. Um, my biggest issue with the Kandinsky is one of the co drill colors has a lot of issues. The drills are not great quality. They've got holes in them. They've got little weird dimples in them that make them reflect weirdly when they're on the canvas so they really draw your eye to the imperfection and I sent an email to customer service for the company and they were 
great. They responded. They sent me replacement drills. Unfortunately, the replacement drills are exactly the same as the drills I started out with. They have the same issues, the same um, dimples, the same imperfections. And so basically what I'm having to do is sort through every single drill. I dump them out in my huge diamond painting tray, my dinner plate tray, and I have to basically pick out all the bad ones um, because they're kind of hard to, you don't notice them until you put them on the canvas. My eyes are bad, so maybe somebody else wouldn't have to do it this way, but basically I have to come in here with my bright lights, dump them all out, and then kind of pick out all the bad ones. So what I'm left is the, with the good ones, and then I put the good ones in my container. The other bad part about that is that the color happens to be the background color for the canvas. So it is the color I have the absolute most of. And so, yeah, it just, I've had to sit down and sort through them two or three times already. And it's a good thing that I asked for replacement drills because I wouldn't have had enough otherwise. I literally have thrown away over half of them. And you'll see when I do the finish and the D kit of that one, I will show you just how much trash I have because it's kind of ridiculous. I even went so far as to order replacement drills from, uh, where did I, I think I ordered them from Diamond Drills USA, but the die lots did not match. And whoops, and I just hit myself with a drill. Did you see that? No, you didn't because I'm not on camera, but went flying right at my face. It's on the floor now. Um, anyway, I, what was I saying? Flying drill distracted me. Um, oh, when I finish, you'll see how much trash there is. I ordered the extra drills from Diamond Drills USA just to see, but the die lots don't match. So unfortunately I can't use them because that would have been amazing. So, and I could have ordered some more, I guess, from Diamond Drills and just used their drills instead of the ones that I got with the kit. But one, I wanted to see how customer service for this company was. Um, and they did send me, you know, replacement drills. Unfortunately, like I said, they're just as bad as the other ones. Let me see if I can kind of shake these down a little bit. Maybe I can get all of these in here. Probably not, but I'm going to try. They're not all going to go in here. Okay, so I'm going to need an extra Harbor Freight container for that one. So let me set this over here with all my other extras where it's not going to spill, hopefully. Um, but I was already working on the canvas when I discovered the issue. And... I, um, so my choices were either to, well, I got the replacement drills and when I discovered they were just as bad as the originals, my choices were to either do what I'm doing and kind of pick through them and just do the best I can, or to basically pick off all of the colors that were that color already on the canvas, which was a lot because as I mentioned, it's the background color of the kit. And I didn't want to do that because that would have meant I spent hours literally picking through the drills and figuring out which ones were good or bad. And honestly, it seemed like the lesser of two evils to just um, pick through them as I went rather than trying to pull them all off the canvas. So, I mean, neither was a good solution, but I just figured that was the quickest and least painful for me anyway, because yeah, sitting down and picking drills off the canvas did not sound like a whole lot of fun. I mean, neither does sitting down and picking through them in here, but at least then I'm just picking out, you know, nice drills that haven't been placed. I'm not dealing with drills that have some 
adhesive left on them because they were on the canvas and now when I try to use them they're all sticking together and yeah like I said it just there didn't seem to be a good solution and so it is what it is I'm, I'm kind of disappointed because I really I wanted this Kandinsky was one of the, the first diamond paintings I was going to hang up for me that I've completed I've given several other paintings that I've done to other people and they've hung them up I've either framed them for them or and then they hung them up or they I just gave them the painting and they framed it and hung it up but I've never hung up one of my own and so I was excited to kind of do that and so when this all kind of went down I was like hmm yeah that doesn't seem like a lot of fun so $37.99 I'm trying to pick the bags that have the most as I go so that I can fit them in the biggest containers that I have and then I'll deal with what happens after that Okay, all of those actually went in there, which I didn't think they would, so that's good. Except for the one that escaped. Or two. I think I threw another one at myself, but whatever. Um, there's only 35 colors in this canvas, so I would have had, I think, enough containers number-wise for the colors. I just don't have enough of the right size containers. So... Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Okay, this is 3371. So yeah, all that to say that I'm looking forward to doing a kit like this where hopefully I won't have any of those issues. I won't have issues with bad drills. I won't have issues with the colors being off. I won't have issues with gapping. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm I don't mind that there's going to be, you know, some trash. Of course there's going to be some trash. The way these drills are manufactured, you're just not going to get away with that without that. But yeah, not having the problem that I'm having currently would be amazing gotta say I'm really loving not having to cut my stickers and do everything myself so there is that being able to just cut and pour and also my last couple of kits have not been diamond art club where every color you know one it's in one bag it's been those kits where you have the teeny tiny little these little bags and you have to open all of them and pour them out and so you know when I've got a 40 by 60 canvas and 50 some bags of those to open yeah it gets a little tedious so those are not my favorite kits for that reason either but I get that not everybody not every company is going to be the same I know that so but it would be nice to have some consistency. And that's my own fault. Part of the reason that I don't have consistency is because I like to try companies that I've never tried before um, and see how they work and see how I like them, see whether or not you might like them. And that's the thing for me is that, um, you know, I want you guys to see what my experience is too. Not to say that your experience will be the same, you know, this company that I've got the issue with the drills, if you don't have that color of drills, the other drills in the kit have been fine. That's the only one that I'm having the issue with. So obviously it's a, a manufacturing issue, not, you know, the company's fault, but it's just frustrating as the person who's doing the diamond painting. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I am loving these stickers though. And I had enough of these size bags to get all of the ones that I wanted to in these containers. So these size containers, which is good because I'm now out of every size, but the teeny tiny ones. So I have my pile here of which ones have the least. And that includes the couple of ABs that are in this kit. 
so I'm just gonna and I don't have enough I know that so I'm just gonna do as many as I can and then I may actually grab bottles for these rather than my Harbor Freight containers for the overages like I'm gonna do with the other ones so we'll see let's see let me sort out which ones of these have the least which is a bunch of them so I'm just gonna pick I'm gonna start with the ABs because why not hardly any ABs in this color. These are just the stars kind of in the sky. But I save all of my drills, my spare drills. So especially ABs, I will save all of those so that I can use them, anything that's left over that I could use in another canvas if I want to. So because ABs are awesome. I bought a bunch of ABs, round ones, for my Diana kit that I'm working on, and I'm actually having a ball putting them in. I just bought a bunch of random colors of ABs because I wanted to try out buying my own drills, and I wanted to try out some ABs. Get that dust out of there. Um, but I... Um, and I ended up making some, buying some more of those than I intended because of internet issues. But I'm really happy that I got them now because I am having so much fun kind of putting them in randomly and seeing how much extra sparkle they add to the canvas. Um, I mean, it's a gorgeous canvas anyway. I almost threw that away. And so having that little bit of sp extra sparkle to add in has been really fun. 336. So, yeah. I want to order some more. I did actually order some more ABs um, in squares, so I would have them to add in to my square canvases because I do a lot of both. I do a lot of um, square and round canvases. My round canvases tend to be smaller. My two diamond painting Deutschlands are an exception because once again, I jump in with both feet and don't pay any attention to what I'm doing. And I ordered them without realizing they were both round. I just saw they were in stock and they were canvases I wanted, and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna order these, cool. Um, however, now I know better, and actually there are a couple of other places that I could buy kits from too that are um, Josephine Wall, so I've got options now. <laughs> um, I think Diamond Painting Deutschland just had the biggest ones, and they have the ones with all the colors, so that's what I was looking for when I was looking for those canvases so that's what I was focused on um, however um, my Diana has 250 colors and my other kit that I bought Melody in Pink has 300 colors um, there's a painting out there of hers that has 325 colors I believe um, However, that's kind of one of those things where that was a challenge. I'm now working on it. So um, now I'm looking at one of my, I've ordered some canvases from Heaven and Earth Designs. I ordered some of their crown jewel canvases, which are the diamond painting canvases that are already, you know, come like any normal diamond painting canvas. It's got the image printed on it. You can get it in color or black and white. I got mine in color. And um, then you just have to buy the drills. So I have gotten back the quote for the drills and we'll see. I haven't actually unboxed the canvases yet. They're here, but I haven't opened them because I know once I do, I won't be able to get them back in the bag the way they were originally packaged. So 
I do that with all my diamond paintings. I just kind of leave them where they were when I got them until I'm ready to work on them because I know I'm never going to get them back in there. So um, some of the smaller ones, my little snack size ones, my 30 by 40s, I might open those ahead of time and let them lay around a little bit. But even those, I tend really not to do that. Um, if you saw my stash video, which I will link up in the top, um, yeah, I kind of leave everything in bags or in tubes or boxes, however they came until I can, um, get to them. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break because I need to go gather up some extra containers for these colors that I didn't get to. And I need to grab some extra stickers for the containers. I'm going to kit up with all of the extra colors in them so I can mark them. So I know what color they are because some of these ones like the three tens and the nine, three nines and the eight twenty threes, they're so close in color. I'm going to get them confused if I don't mark them. So, uh, don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Okay. Slight change of plans. These are some new storage containers that I got that I actually forgot about. So I'm going to use some of these to kit up the smaller ones. And then I'm going to use my Harbor Freight ones for, um, the extras. So let me grab all of my extras. So these are my three tens and I just spilled a bunch of three tens. Gosh, darn it. Oh, I should have known I was going to do that because I always make a mess when I'm trying to do this. doesn't matter how, ma how prepared I am. I constantly oh, am making a mess. And now I'm spilling them everywhere because I'm trying to pick them all up and put them on this. And of course I spilled some of them by the camera. So did I get all of them? Let me stack up these other ones I've already done that I just knocked over. There's one that got away. Okay. Let me dump all these in here since that's apparently where they want to be. And I'm going to grab my Harbor Freight containers and my pen and let me move these out of the way. So those are going to go in there and let me write my numbers on here. Okay. Those are the ones I have the most of so far. Gosh, I don't even know if I'm going to get all of these in here. I may just dump these in here and leave these other two in the bag. Yeah, that wasn't even a full bag. Do I think I can get another one in there? Why not? Let's live dangerously and find out. Because I've spilled these everywhere, so... my luck here. <laughs> That's not going to close. Oh, so I guess I'm going to dump some of these out so I can close it. And then I'll just make another, I mean, it's not like I'm having any shortage of containers. So I don't know what I'm worried about. Gosh, these seem to be getting everywhere. Let's see. All these going to fit in here or am I going to have to open a third extra? I might get all of those in there. Yep. Okay. So that is the eight bags of 310. So let me just mark these, like I said, with stickers, so I don't forget that they are all 310. So that's 310. That's 310. 
and I probably should mark this one as well because well just for my own peace of mind so that I know those are all 310 okay so those are all 310 let me set these off to the side here and now I need 939 let me put this sticker on it's only one bag extra here so I should be able to get this in one container should let's see if I actually do alrighty okay so there's 939 let me set that over there and then 823 I've got one bag of Mm. Some of these I've got more than one bag left, so I don't know. Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Just get ahead of myself here. That's part of my issues. I'm so impatient. I like the kidding up. I like kind of organizing everything. This one is just frustrating for me because I want everything to be in my Elizabeth Ward and it's not going to work out that way so until I can get it the way I want it's going to bug me I know that so put that up there okay so these I've got two containers left but I didn't fill up this one so I'm going to fill up this one and then I will fill up an extra Harbor Freight and we'll see how it goes so I need 745 9.38 and 8.20 I all have extra bags of oh and 3.17 okay and then at that point I might be done and going to those for the small amounts that I have left so let's see how that goes get as many of those in there as I can move them out of the way so I can actually close the lid okay shuffle some of this around for a minute I have this big desk and I still end up with so much stuff piled on it that I got to move things out of the way while I'm filming which is kind of crazy that's the whole point of having this so that I don't have to do that okay Let's see if I get all of these in there. I want to, so I bet I don't. <laughs> oh, maybe I will. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh, I did get them all in there. Oh, hope I missed some. I lied. Oh. In that case, let me just dump those in there. That's the only bad thing about these Harbor Freights is they get stuck in the back like that. Which normally, you know, I'm opening them. I know it's going to do that, so I open them over my canvas, but it's still annoying. Okay, 820. I've got two bags of this one left again, so we'll see how far I get. 820 sticker on before I forget I might have gotten out just the right number of Harbor Freight containers we'll see this bag seems pretty full so am I gonna get all this in here that's all I'm gonna get in there I bet and I still have a whole nother bag left now this one is not full so I can put some in here but yeah me knock this down and see if I can make some room in there Let's see how many I can shove in this container if I just had the rest of my Elizabeth Ward free it would all be good but I don't so I'm trying really hard to work on that Kandinsky and get it done though because well, one, I'm just not having as much fun as I would like because of the issue with the drills. 
and to oh, I have other projects to get to so I just want to get it done why do these suddenly look like they're a different color I know I'm kidding myself that that's all gonna close but a girl can dream right yeah okay so I will probably put these hmm Can I get them in here, do you think? If I tap this down, there was a little bit of room in there. Maybe I can get them in here. Maybe. Come on. If I talk to them really nicely, will they all go in there? Maybe. <gasps> Is that all of them? Yes. Okay. So there's that one. Then I just have a, two left, 939, I've got one bag. So I will, oh, this is 938, not 939. 938. So since there's only one bag, these should all fit in here. color that I had more than would fit in a container is 317 which is already open so I'm trying to be careful and this is the last Harbor Freight that I pulled so that actually worked out really nicely go me okay so there's those now I have these colors left to do which I am going to need stickers for, no I'm not, because I have the stickers from here, which I forgot about. So let me open these. How many do I need? Five, one, two, three, four, and five. And you'll be seeing these containers in a future video. I've already filmed the unboxing of this. I just don't have it uploaded yet and ready to go and I don't have it uploaded and ready to go because I decided to shove this in and you know filming happens on a schedule and so sometimes I have things planned and then something like this pops up and I wanted to have it done and ready to go for the start of the event and so here we are Okay, there was a random drill that escaped, but it's on the floor and I have no idea which one it was. So I'm gonna put this sticker on the top. I have a bottle case that I could have used the bottles from, but then they wouldn't have been in the case. And knowing me, there's gonna be something else that I want to do. So I will just use these and call it good. Okay, and I'm 803. Because honestly, it's going to bother me that these are like this too, but I'll deal. Even though I already don't like it. <laughs> I don't like having the mismatch of containers. I like all my sets to be the same. I'm not don't usually have this many diamond paintings on the go at once so that part is not thrilling for me either but mm, that's how the cookie crumbles now that I'm trying to do stuff for YouTube right the sacrifices I make for you guys I'm just joking I'm so incredibly grateful to all of you who have subscribed thus far and I'm still working on making my channel better and I'm hoping to hit a couple of subscriber milestones here shortly and be able to do some giveaways I have some nice things planned for some giveaways that I would like to do I spent part of yesterday gathering things together for the random acts of kindness that I want to send out if you haven't done that already check the description below there is a link to um, what I call my random acts of kindness. Some people call it happy mail, 
whatever, however you want to think of it. I call it random acts of kindness where you sign up, give me a little bit of information and I send some surprises your way. It could be anything. It could be a pen. It could be tips. It could be multi-placers. It could be a kit. It could be drills. It could be stickers, um, decals, candy, just a ton of things that I've, no, those won't all be in one thing, obviously, because let's be real, shipping is crazy right now. But um, I do have things gathered to send out to people. It is easier for me to send things if you are in the States simply because then I don't have to deal with filling out custom forms and I don't have to deal with the crazy amount of shipping. I asked in a, a whip and chat about people and gift cards and people thought gift cards were a good idea. And I'm not against that. I just am trying to figure out the logistics of making it work. I know on Amazon, for instance, I have discovered how to like if I'm in the States, how I could buy an Amazon gift card for someone who was in the Netherlands or Germany or Canada or what have you so that you can get the funds in your currency so that you can use them because I can't send you an Amazon gift card that's in US dollars unless you're in your, the US. I can send it to you, but you couldn't use it. So I figured that part out. And I know that lots of the... Um, Diamond painting companies also offer gift cards. Like for instance, I know Diamond Art Club does, but I don't know if there's a way for me to purchase it in US dollars and then have it sent to you in your currency. I can't find anything like that on their website. So I think I'm gonna have to um, just email people and ask. I know Dreamer Designs and a couple of other companies offer gift cards as well. So I don't wanna just stick with Amazon. I know some people don't like Amazon, don't wanna use Amazon. Um, in fact, I may add that to my, my form to fill out for that. But regardless, my thought was if I'm going to spend $30 to ship something to people overseas, I might as well send you a gift card for, I could literally send you a gift card for half of that and you would get the same dollar value of items in what I'm sending you. I mean, it seems crazy for me to spend $30 in shipping to send you less than $10 worth of items. Um, so, you know, stickers and things, that's easy for me to send because if I can send them in just a regular, you know, business size envelope, um, then it's just an international stamp, which is like a buck 25, which is nothing. I have no problem doing that. And I've done that for several people, but um, yeah, it's always nice to get fun things in the mail. So I'd like to send a little bit more than that if I could. So if you've ever done that, if you've ever... Um, you know, done the gift card thing and, and you know how to do it for people in other countries, please share because that would be awesome to know. Um, like I said, I, I would love to be able to, you know, send those extra things and, um, oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. I'm trying to move everything here so you guys can see what I did and see all of my colors and see how many containers it is all kitted up. But I have to get them all in the view of the camera. So, excuse me while I just throw things everywhere apparently. Yeah, so here are all the containers. I think you can see most of them anyway um, for the um, Lenore canvas that I'm gonna be working on for the JBG along. Again, that starts uh, July 1st. So if you want to participate, grab a JBG canvas or order one. The event runs the whole month of July and I believe they're gonna be doing giveaways. I don't generally participate in the giveaway part of it. I just like have an excuse to diamond paint. So I will do this and I will happily share their YouTubes down below and I will share this over on Instagram with my hashtag as I take paintings and uh, show you guys my progress. So if you want to follow me over on Instagram, it's at Diamond Painting Anonymous over on Instagram. Would love to see you over there. And um, yeah, so that's this one kitted up. Uh, I may be back to show you how I prepare the canvas. I'm not sure. We'll see. So if you like this video, don't forget to do all the things on your way out. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads like this one. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.